Welcome to my studio and thanks for joining me tonight. In this demonstration I'm going to be taking you through step by step as I create one of my latest wildlife pieces. Working with the Emu, Australia's largest flightless bird. What we're going to start with is working on the background layer, getting the sky in place. The paper that I've chosen is a rose grey. This is a very subtle, warm grey tone. Works wonderful if you're working with images that are quite light and have subtle variations in them. With the blocking stage here, as you can see, I'm not being precious about it. Just using bit of paint of blue to get it started. Cutting around the head just very roughly. Not too worried if I get some on the actual animal at this stage. After all it's the, the background layer so I can do what I need to quite comfortably here. As we come down the page, I'm just going to go back in with a slightly lighter version of the same pale blue. Just going in the two. You'll notice early on that I'm using quite large strokes in my work and a lot of rapid movement. I actually use this technique and variations of it all the way through all of my works. Even in the finer detail, it'll still be created using a lot of rapid movement. I find this gives me the energy of peace that I'm looking for. What I'm going to do to start off with is break it down into very basic bands of the major colours that are going to be playing through the sky here. So we're coming with the phthalo blue being the most dominant. To counter that, I'm going to come in with a slightly lighter yellow green. Now, a lot of you are probably sitting there and going, why on earth are you using yellow green in the sky? But the yellow green is only going to be used as a blender as I bring down more of my phthalo blue into that. A few different ways you can do this. My favourite combination is normally going from phthalo blue into phthalo green, then pulling into your pale oranges gives a really good thing to the picture. In fact, what I'm using here to glaze is a very, very pale version of that pale green. very important early on not to get lost in the major detail. This stage is all about getting the feel. Visualisation is a big key to getting these things to work. As you can see, even though I had that yellow green in there, I'm already pushing it right back. Letting it pick through in places. Preparing for the next layer of colour. One of my favourite 
favorites to use down there in the horizon for a lot of these ones. Especially the warm skies that we get over here in Australia.